Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. As you can see, I left my cutting mat there. Cameras are weird things because if you look at the top of the frame, that's relatively straight. That one looks a bit bigger. And then on the other grid, it just looks skewy. I don't know how that happens. I kind of like shift things around. <laughs> There you are, I'll just make you seasick early in the morning. There you go. But you see how that's moved away from there now? Drives you nuts. But anyway, <laughs> I'm here this morning with a KS Craft design team share. And it's just one project. And I decided that I'd got a few things on the desk and I was going to use them all. So I did. And I used the smallest in this wonderful... Picotty Lace Edge Banner Set. Now, I did use the large one last week, but this time I've used the small one. And the reason I used the small one was because I wanted to put it onto one of um, KS Craft's slimline dies. So I was just thinking back then, did I say Alina Craft? I hope I didn't, because I meant KS Craft, and there it says so on the bag. So I used that, and I also used what I haven't used yet, which is the little penguin die. Now, this can just be layered up to make a sweet little penguin, or you can turn it into a shaker. I just layered it up. And to go with all of that combination that I decided I was going to make a fully loaded card was a load of crazy crafter ephemera and journal tags. And here's what I made. And it's so big that it probably needs to go that way to show it to you. As you can see, I've got some baker's twine there and I'm dangling my little charm off the edge. There's that sweet little penguin cutting cardstock from Joanne and it's all, if I can get close enough, it sparkles and glitters. Really, really cute. I used some white gel pen in the eyes and then I just went completely nuts with the Crazy Crafter. And I used three journal tags on there. So you've got one here off at a skew, another one there, and then you've got the one at the bottom. But they've got those great little sentiments on, merry and bright, oh, what fun. And then you've got December the 25th there. And you've got all the candy peppermint swirls, and you've got the candy cane. And there you can see that die in the background. I just tied the baker's twine through it and put my charm on. And there's that gorgeous little penguin. I double layered his scarf and uh, popped that up on foamy tabs. But I just think it's really, really sweet. And that means now that I've made it, I can measure that penguin. And I will link the haul below from where all of this stuff did come from. Right, so... We have where I've positioned the feet, almost three and a quarter inches. And then from his little wing to his little wing, he's three inches. But it's so cute. I mean, if you're somebody who enjoys doing fully loaded stuff like I do, these make great fronts for book covers. And, you know, this would make a serious book cover because I'll actually measure the slimline die. I think um, KS Craft and KLJUYP make the biggest of them nine inches high. So you can appreciate it's huge. And the width of it, if I can get down under there, is four inches. So nine by four inches. So if you wanted to make yourself a really tall, skinny planner or something like that and do yourself one of those mountain valley fold um what do they call them, bindings, then you're going to have a really, really cute and a very, very tall book. But I'm sorry, but that's all I have. But I did get carried away with it. <laughs> I need to go out in the garden. We've had even more frost and I've got even more dead plants, which is utterly depressing. But uh, I'm going to be up tomorrow with some Eiffel store. So do have a fabulous day. I hope you're not too cold. As usual, all links below and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.